hostile artificial intelligence called NIM has taken over the world's computers. You're the only person skilled enough to shut it down, and you'll only have one chance. You've broken into NIM's secret lab, and now you're floating in a raft on top of 25 stories of electrified water. You've rigged up a remote that can lower the water level by ejecting it from grates in the sides of the room. If you can lower the water level to zero, you can hit the manual override, shut NIM off, and save the day. However, the AI knows that you're here, and it can lower the water level too by sucking it through a trap door at the bottom of the lab. If NIM is the one to lower the water level to zero, you'll be sucked out of the lab, resulting in a failed mission. Control over water drainage alternates between you and NIM, and neither can skip a turn. Each of you can lower the water level by exactly one, three, or four stories at a time. Whoever gets the level exactly to zero on their turn will win this deadly duel. Note that neither of you can lower the water level below zero. If the water level is at two, then the only move is to lower the water level one story. You know that NIM has already computed all possible outcomes of the contest and will play in a way that maximizes its chance of success. You go first. How can you survive and shut off the artificial intelligence? You can't leave anything up to chance. NIM will take any advantage it can get and you'll need to have a response to any possible move it makes. The trick here is to start from where you want to end and work backwards. You want to be the one to lower the water level to zero, which means you need the water level to be at one, three, or four when control switches to you. If the water level were at two, your only option would be to lower it one story, which would lead to Nim making the winning move. If we color code the water levels, we can see a simple principle at play. There are losing levels like two, where no matter what whoever starts their turn there does, they'll lose. And there are winning levels where whoever starts their turn there can either win or leave their opponent with a losing level. So not only are one, three, and four winning levels, but so are five and six, since you can send your opponent to two from there. What about seven? From seven, all possible moves would send your opponent to a winning level making this another losing level. And we can continue up the lab in this way. If you start your turn one, three, or four levels above a losing level, then you're at a winning level. Otherwise, you're destined to lose. You could continue like this all the way to level 25, but as a shortcut, you might notice that levels eight through 11 are colored identically to one through four. Since a level's color is determined by the levels 1, 3, and 4 stories below it, this means that level 12 will be the same color as level 5, 13 will match 6, 14 will match 7, and so on. In particular, the losing levels will always be multiple of 7 and 2 greater than multiples of 7. Now, from your original starting level of 25, you have to make sure your opponent starts on a losing level every single turn. If NIM starts on a winning level even once, it's game over for you. So your only choice on turn one is to lower the water level by four stories. No matter what the AI does, you can continue giving it losing levels until you reach zero and trigger the manual override. And with that, the crisis is averted. Now, back to a less stressful kind of surfing. Here's a bonus riddle where you can use similar skills in a deadly and delicious duel. Here's how it works. You and your opponent will take turns eating squares from a chocolate bar. Each turn, you must choose a square. That will be the lower left corner of a rectangle that you have to break off and eat. Every square is safe to eat, except the lower left one of the whole bar, which is poisonous. So, if you're playing with a 2 by 3 bar and you go first, what should your first move be to survive? This bonus riddle comes courtesy of our sponsor, Brilliant.org. Brilliant's content is guided by a great set of principles, including curating content that excites, cultivates curiosity, and is active rather than passive. Check out Brilliant today at brilliant.org slash ted-ed, and the first 833 of you will get 20% off the annual subscription fee. 
And to confirm your answer to the bonus riddle, sign up for a free membership by clicking the link below, and Brilliant will email you the solution.